Hi guys, it's Schleich World 155 and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a, a basic rug and halter for just about any Schleich model horse. To make the halter all you're going to need is a small fluffy hairband and a horse. So what you need to do is put the band over your horse's neck, put two fingers in, twist it round, and put it over your horse's nose. This will fit most horses and it looks super cute. For the rug or blanket you're going to need some felt, a horse to make the rug for, some glue and some fabric cutting scissors. Next you want to choose um, your colour of felt that you're going to make the rug out of. I've chosen pink because I think that suits Dora nicely. Now you need to cut out a square of the felt and make sure that it's going to be absolutely massive on your horse but not so big that you're wasting too much felt. The next step is to just trim it down a little bit so it's not way too big. I've already done that but it's really easy. Just take it and off the back and maybe the sides snip a bit of it off but still leave it so it's quite big on your horse. Sometimes you accidentally end up cutting your rug a bit too small for your horse like I did here. If that's the case um, it's easily solvable. All you have to do is find another horse that the rug kind of fits at this stage. I'll show you once I find one. I finally found the right horse. He fits just nicely and I can trim it down. Now you want to trim it, well first fold it in half and trim it so it's even on all of the edges but don't trim the top because that will just leave you with two pieces which will be useless. Okay, now you need to make the little bit for the neck. For this, you need to put it on your model like this. Make sure you know which ends the front and which are the sides and everything. Then you're going to half it again. And at the front end, you're going to trim just a little notch out of it. Now, this will make your rug look like this. It's obviously not going to be big enough. Or maybe it is, it depends. If you're doing it on a Shetland pony, it will be. But anyway, you need to keep halving it and just trimming a little bit more off each time to make the neck. Once 
once everything's trimmed to the right size, you can start gluing your rug. So now you're going to fold over the edge that you're going to put the glue on. Like this. Then you're going to put the glue in the right place. Depending on your horse's neck size. Make sure that you put quite a lot of glue on so as you can be sure it will stick. Then, once you've got all of your glue on, you're going to take it round, try not to get glue on yourself, and glue it into place. Once you've done that, you might want to get something to wipe off the excess glue, although it probably will just dry clear. Another thing, when you're letting the glue dry, if there are any exposed blobs of glue, don't put it down on a mucky carpet or anything, because you don't really want to get dog hair and all the other stuff that's on a carpet stuck to it. And one of the worst things that can happen is, I've done this before, I left it on the carpet, it sticks to the carpet and then you have to wreck it when you're pulling it off. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the tutorial, please comment and subscribe. Bye!